Jackson High School, Class of 2020, congratulations. At this point, you have earned all the academic requirements to achieve your high school diploma. Earning a high school diploma is one thing and one of the few things in life that no one will ever be able to take away from you. Now, you could be from Jackson your entire life or you may be someone that moved into our community. But remember, you will for always be a graduate of Jackson High School and you will always be a part of our great town that we call home. I know that your senior year did not end as you would have expected. On March 13th was the last day that you guys attended school. March 16th, school was closed and ultimately school was closed for the remainder of the year. That means that you guys missed out on 35 days of your senior year. But I don't wanna focus on those 35 days. I wanna take you back in time and focus on the 2,219 other days that you may have attended school in our district. Think back to the very first day that you went to kindergarten. Think the very first time you went to school. Your elementary years, actually having a recess, being able to go out and play with your friends. Your musical performances that all your fam family would come and attend and your parents making you have to dress up for those. Being able to eat lunch with your classmates and at times with your parents and grandparents. Getting your yearbooks at the end of each year and having your classmates and teachers sign those. Taking field trips, participating in Christmas and Halloween and Valentine Day parties. All the community service projects that you guys have been doing. The acts of kindness that you have done over the years. All those special memories that you have created do not go unforgotten. Think about the times that you first enrolled in Jackson High School as a high school student. 
Think back to all those teachers that prepared you for that moment that you became a high school student. So many great teachers in this district have poured their time and effort into making you a better person and ultimately preparing you for the next stages of your life. Entering high school is a very intimidating experience. Think back of how nervous you were, how big the school was, how you may have gotten lost at times, not knowing which direction to go. You know, we always highly encourage you guys to be involved in ath athletics and activities and clubs. Participation was important. You guys were able to find new friends. You were able to get involved in those clubs and organizations. And where we stand today, many of the clubs and organizations and athletics, our, our music, band, choir, we have the largest numbers that we've had in many years, and that's to you. That's because of your leadership. That's because you wanted to get involved in your high school experience. Think about all the different teachers that you have had in high school, the different friends that you have met, those that you've cried on, those that you have relied on. When times got tough, many of you are working jobs on the weekends, in the evenings, you're balancing homework, you're balancing family life. At times, high school is not easy, but it's one of the funnest times of your lives. And I surely hope that you guys enjoyed every single minute of high school. Now, I know the end of your high school career did not end as you would have expected. Not being able to finish out the last couple months of your, high, of your senior year. But understand, this is a great learning opportunity. I surely hope that through the years of attending all the great schools and all the great being around all the great teachers at Jackson, that we've been able to prepare you, make you a better person, and set you up for success once you graduate high school. I also hope that this time of you being away from school, you've been able to learn and grow as an individual. It is our responsibility as educators to provide the best possible learning experience for you. Unfortunately, these last couple months, that may not seem ideal. But nothing we could have done could have prepared you for what you have been experiencing and may continue to experience over the next couple weeks or in the past couple weeks. The learning opportunities that you have been exposed to hopefully will show you that life can change at any moment. You went from being in a traditional classroom setting, seeing your peers, seeing your teachers, to now not seeing anybody. And having to rely on distance learning and a virtual education to hopefully finish out your, your school year. That is challenging. We know it's challenging. It's crazy to think that there was assignments given to you that would not negatively impact your grade. It could only make it better. Our teachers and staff did everything we can to try to make these last couple months a great experience for you from an educational standpoint. However, I also want to point out to everything that's been going on in our world, in our society, in our state, in our town. I hope that you've been able to take notice to how things change and how quickly things can change. As high school students, we're always encouraging to find passion. What is your career? What do you want to do when you grow up? Many of you may go to college. Some of you are gonna specialize in a specific trade. Some are gonna go straight in the workforce. Others have other plans on what they wanna do. And we surely hope you do the best you can. We know that you can be successful. But also know that you, at this point, can handle adversity. You've been doing it for weeks and months, and you may continue doing it. You have been put in a very, very challenging situation, not only at school, but in your personal life. You have seen the impact that this pandemic has had on you, your family, your friends, and ultimately our society. Everyone has had to make changes in their lives. You have seen how it has impacted businesses. You have seen how it has impacted you at home. The challenges of going to a grocery store. The little things in life we have taken for granted, we have seen how challenging it is to live a life with not having some of those comfort zones that we're so used to. I hope that you've taken notice to our medical professionals and the job they have been doing to solely take care of everybody. They have gone above and beyond. There's many businesses and jobs and professions right now that have gone above and beyond. And I hope that you're looking into some of those fields. I hope now this helps you give a better idea of what you want your career to be as you see what goes on with some of the other businesses and professions right now. You have been able to see leaders around the country, 
in other countries, in our state, and locally. You've been able to see how these leaders have led their people in a time of crisis. You have seen how your parents and your families and guardians have been able to manage and maintain and do the best they can given them circumstances. And that's overcoming adversity. You gotta stay positive. You gotta stay the course. You guys have done a phenomenal job. Every time we see you guys, you have a smile on your face. You're working extremely hard at your jobs right now. You're helping to pick up the slack if need be. And I think that serves as a great life lesson for you guys that you'll be able to take forever. A lot of this, a lot of us, including myself, have not experienced anything like this. So it's a learning lesson for me. And I can only imagine the benefits it's going to serve you down the road of being a young adult getting ready to step into the real world. And how I know right now you guys are going to be able to overcome some tremendous challenges as you go older. I truly hope that you guys find the career and profession that you want. I hope you can buy that first home sometime down the road. I hope you too can raise a great family. And I hope that those children come through the Jackson R2 School District because this is the best district there is. We have the best high school there is. And a lot of that is thanks to you. Thanks for you making Jackson High School what it is, for creating traditions and carrying on the traditions that have been created, created by past classmates. You mean a lot to this, to us. We say it every year, and it means even more this year. We love you, we care about you, and we wish you nothing but the best. Class of 2020 at Jackson High School, thank you. Take care. Jackson High School graduating class of 2020. I am so proud of your accomplishments this school year. The resiliency that you have shown in this extraordinary time has been admirable. The class of 2020 will be remembered for many successes in this unprecedented time. But the way you as a class have creatively come together to make sure that you could celebrate all the moments that could have been lost due to this crisis will be one of my favorite memories as a superintendent of schools. Today, I want to recognize a few students who are choosing an uncommon path upon graduation. These six young men and women of Jackson High School class of 2020 courageously have decided that their next chapter of life will be to serve and to protect the great country and to honorably defend the flag of the United States of America. Some of these graduates will be reporting to basic training before our regular graduation ceremony takes place. So please join me in recognizing the following students. United States Army, Wyatt Anthony Darledge. United States Army, Aaron Taylor Huff. United States Army, Amber Marie Lowe's. United States Marines, Jacob Charles Farrar. Missouri National Guard, Caleb Scott Anderson. And Missouri National Guard, Logan Wayne McClanahan. Alan West said this, and I would submit that it's now more true than ever. We must never forget why we have and why we need our military. Our armed, our armed forces exist solely to ensure our nation is safe so that each and every one of us can sleep soundly at night knowing we have guardians at the gate. Appreciative of that promise and pray for all those in harm's way that sacrifice their lives and their youth for us to enjoy the freedoms that have been blessed, we have been blessed with as a country. Thank you to these brave young men and women who will serve their country well and who will make us truly JR2 proud. We salute you. Thank you and Godspeed. Okay, so you cannot hear me. I just miss you all so much. It's, uh, 
it's just really crazy altogether. And just to think that the last time you saw your students, like, you thought, no big deal. We are going on a little short break, and the next thing you know, uh, school's closed for the rest of the year. Uh, it, just, it just hit me how much I miss my kids. And, and I mean, I know I miss them, but it just overwhelmed me, and I started crying.